Hi everybody, my name is Chad Criswell. I am the owner of MusicEdMagic.com and the National Music Technology Writer for NAF News Teaching Music Magazine. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my top three picks for free music notation programs. first one we're going to look at today is a little piece called Muse Inc. Now Muse Inc is a really interesting kind of a music notation program. It's brand new. It's only been out for maybe a year or so now. And as you can see here, the interface is really kind of strange. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to enter in a scale. All right. Now I wanted to do a C major scale, but I couldn't figure out how to get down to low C. Um, so you see I'm kind of fumbling around with it. You'll notice also that there is no visible note palette in this program. That's one of the reasons that I actually kind of like it. It's something different. If you're watching closely, you'll notice that the note durations change based on where I put the note. Now it takes a little bit of getting used to um, to figure this out. Now, you, like you see here, I'm trying to switch it into 16th notes for the smallest duration so that now if I stay really close to the note before it, it's going to put in 16th notes. But oops, as you just saw there, it kind of crashed on me, a little mini crash, and now I can't do anything else with it. So as you see, it's buggy, but it's something to consider if you want to try something new, okay, that is also for free. Now here we've got one of the classic free music notation programs is called Finale Notepad. Finale Notepad came out back in the, around like 2008, 2007, something like that. And it was free back then, then it went uh, paid for a few years. And then back in 2012, it came back out as free. And it's been available ever since then. It's a great, great free music notation program if you don't need a whole lot of staves, if you don't need a whole lot of articulations, if you don't need to really customize the music. Now, what you're seeing here is you're seeing me do the same kind of thing. I'm trying to put in a C major scale. And as you can see, I'm getting through it a lot quicker. Now, granted, I admit, I use Finale quite a bit in my life as a full-time music education teacher. So I am familiar with the Finale interface and all. But Finale is a really solid piece of music notation software that will let you upgrade. Let's say that you start with Notepad, you find out later you need more flexibility, more options, more articulations. You can upgrade to one of the paid versions and take all of the music that you have already written with you and it will work upward compatible and downward compatible. That, so if you're a teacher and you own the full version of Finale, you can write music in there and then send it to your students and they can do it at home for free with Finale Notepad and then send you back their edits for their assignment. It's a great little program. Now here you're going to see Muse Score. Muse Score is kind of like the, the creme de la creme of free music notation editors. Now it does have a little bit of a learning curve, as you're going to see here. What you're seeing me do here is I haven't used Muse Score in many, many months, and I'm trying to remember how to enter in a simple scale. Okay. Now, it's very easy to figure out once you get going, okay? Um, they do, by the way, both Finale Notepad and MuseScore have the nice, easy-to-use thing where if you hit the number 3 on your number pad, then it gives you a 16th note. Um, if you hit a number 4 on the number pad, then it gives you an 8th note. Number 5 is a quarter note. Number 6 is a half note. So you can zoom through entering in notes a lot faster than just clicking and and dragging uh, notes around on the page. So that's Muse Score. The thing that makes Muse Score unique, though, is if you look at that left-hand tool palette over there, there is tons of stuff over there that you can do with this. Um, it pretty much has, it doesn't have as much stuff as the full-blown versions of Finale and Sibelius or, or Notion, but it's got an awful lot of them over there. Um, articulations galore, uh, lyrics, multiple parts. Uh, it is a very robust program for being free. So that's my wrap up of my personal 
favorite three free music notation programs. Uh, yes, there are many more out there, so please don't send me hate mail, okay? But uh, those are the ones that if I have to write something and I have a computer that doesn't have a commercial version of those things installed, then I can run out on the internet, download it, and be up and running in a, in a couple of minutes. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be producing some podcasts on other platforms. The best ones for Macintosh, the best ones for uh, commercial versions. And I guarantee you, you're going to get surprised because there are a lot of commercial notation programs out there that you probably have never even heard of. Uh, again, my name is Chad Criswell, musicedmagic.com. Go on over there, sign up for our newsletter, and get informed of all the new stuff that uh, I'm putting out there on a, a weekly basis these days. All right, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.